Hi, how are you? All this well, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. No woman is good, but all this well. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> how may I help you? Okay, so I have a question about your thoughts on why you don't think God or you don't think Jesus is part of the Godhead, part of the Trinity, where, where you came up with that, because um, the Church Fathers, they had councils, they had many of them, uh-huh. and they were really long, a really long time ago. Like, one of them was in the year 325, and it was the, the Council of Nicaea. And that was the main uh, thing that they were debating about, because it's confusing. Because God existing in three persons, but yet being one, is, is really confusing. So I'm just wondering, like, you know, how much have you thought about it, and how come you're so sure that Jesus isn't God? But number one, I can see that Jesus is the Son of God, and he even said that he was the Son. He made it clear that he and his Father are one. His Father dwells in him. His Father sent him. And so he said that he is the Son. Uh, in the Bible, it talks about, in the Word, it talks about we are inheritors of Christ. Whatever he owned, we as his brothers own it as well. Uh, he went to see his father's will. Uh, he said, don't praise me because greater work shall I do. You know, when he was doing the amazing work he, and the people like, oh, my God, you, you something else. He like, but don't praise me. It's not me. It's the father that is in me. And you shall do greater works. And so God would never tell us that he, we can do greater works than he can. Um, have you looked at what the church fathers have said, though? Yeah, but they're dumb and they're liars. They're a bag of bones. They're Pharisees. I wouldn't listen to them. if I, I mean, do what you want, but I would know God for myself so you can never be deceived. They are intellectual nutheads. <laughs> um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't say that about somebody who died for Christ, like a martyr? Someone who died for Christ? What do you mean by that? Um, because, like, all these old Christians, a lot of them died because they believed Jesus was divine and they, that he rose from the dead and then he did all these things. And it was like the Pharisees and the people that were the religious leaders that were persecuting them, and they actually murdered them. And that, oh, that, that was my other so question. So they would die for Christ like the Muslims? No, sir. They're dying because they won't, they won't uh, basically renounce their belief in Christ, that they were, they were going to— And so you say, I wouldn't say what about them? That you would, that you would say that they were—what did you say about the church fathers, that they were like intellectuals or something? Anyone that tells you that Jesus is God is an intellectual. Now here he's a—he or she, because now you have these women thinking that they are preachers— he or she is a Pharisee. I wouldn't listen to that. Do what you want, but I, I wouldn't recommend that you would listen to that because faith is what we live by. We live by faith, and whatever you believe in will control you. You become one with what you believe. And, and if you notice, all the Christians who believe that Jesus is God have no peace. They're suffering, and then they're making up lies for their suffering. Oh, no one can be perfect. We all sin. They don't think that you can overcome sin. And so I wouldn't listen to that, but it's up to you. Um, Well, do you know why they crucified Christ? Like, why do you think they crucified him? Because they hated the truth. Well, they actually, like, there's verses that talk about, like, because of the fact that that he was making himself um, equal to God is why they, one of the reasons why they crucified him. Well, he didn't so, make himself equal to God. They thought that because they were blind and could not see. I've been told that the Council of Nicaea was formal, was from 300 years ago after Jesus died. And they weren't mortals, mortals. Mm, it was the year 325, so I think that was a lot longer. It was after than, Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was after Jesus. And they were the under the Emperor Constantine. Somebody named Constantine. Um, I didn't. I don't know. I can't remember if he was part of that. I think it, he was after that, actually. Yeah. I, well, I, would, I wouldn't put much into that. 
Well, this is and that's yeah, I've been told that he was part of that. Constantine, okay. the okay. Emperor Constantine, uh, uh, convened their group. No, there's there was a few councils, so he he probably did one of them, like the the Constantinople. Not probably, he did. Like yeah, he did one of them, but he didn't do the, these really older ones. So, like the one I'm saying is like one of the oldest. He so, did theirs, their one in AD three twenty five. Yeah. I'm glad I yeah, got some really interruptions long. in the office. God won't be doing any of this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just a little bit confused because you say that we should honor our fathers, and these are church fathers, and these are people that— They're are, not your father. Uh, just, no, sir, but they're— You they're should father. honor your like, physical father, meaning don't resent your earthly father, because when you do, you would never know God. You know about him. You feel like you know him. But you won't know him. You just know about him. You have the intellect, intellectual knowledge, but you won't have wisdom. Well, I think they go hand in hand. I think we can't. You think what go hand in hand? Using our intellect and our heart and and our faith. But why do you and, think and, that the intellect is of your dad is Satan? Well, I don't know. Like, in other words, researching things like knowing your history, even if it's the United States history, which you you very much so honor we you should do the same with with the history of of christ of of why why why, why? yeah <laughs> because if you love god and you love the body of christ then wouldn't you want to know like all the all the reasons why you know these things went down like the history of that well the council of nasir is not the history of christ they're just a bunch of experts but which would you prefer to know, the history of Christ or to know Christ? I would love to know Christ. Obviously. Well, then you have to drop the history. I don't know about that. I think well, that you it hasn't both. helped you at all. It just builds your ego. It makes you feel good, but you're still suffering. And you know the history, but you don't know him. But that's not true. I do know him. No, you don't. Yes, sir, I do. Do you believe he's God? Yeah, he's part of the Godhead. Do you believe he's, he's God? Yes, he's then one you part don't of know the him. Godhead. Then you don't know him. How, how, okay, so how did he raise from the dead if he's not God? That's neither here nor there. You don't know him. You know about him because you're into your intellect, and your intellect is that of your dad is Satan. You got to rise above the intellect. And you haven't done that. No, you feel sir, you I have feel done that. you feel like a Christian, not realizing there is no feeling in Christianity. That's a false feeling. No. That's a mama feeling. It, that's Satan feeling. No, I'm not going off of feelings. Like I said, I've read. I know you're going off like the I, intellect. That's why you're miserable. No, it's because I want to understand, and it's a complex issue. It, it's you, not complex at all. It's very simple. You just have to ignore the intellect so you can rise above it. You're in a no, fallen because, state and don't realize it. Well, I mean, I think that using history as our guide is very important. because Wh Which is best to use you history as your guide or use wisdom to live by? Which is better? Yeah, w wisdom. Because and so that, why are you using why history you as your guide? Oh, no, history is just part of being human and, and, and our errors and our learning, and we can learn from each other and stuff like that and not repeat the same mistakes. Well, hopefully. why is everybody repeat the same mistake? Oh, uh, because we're flawed. But you have we're history. Yeah, I know. So that, why that isn't your history saving you from the hell that you're in? I'm not in hell. I yes, mean, you I are. Think I'm no, you're in hell. hell. <laughs> I may not know hell, but I know you in hell because you oh, enter no, the intellect. No, 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 no. This is con this is why this confuses me. How did you simplify it so much that you think that he's not God? Like, where did you come with that? Because How did you God, come to that conclusion? Because God is simple, even simpler than I can even express. And you won't know that until you are born again of God, become his daughter. Then you can live it and you will see it but you're locked in your intellect.
you think you know him, but you don't. How, how is it simple? It's simpler than what I can even express. Uh, but how? His I mean, ways, like what it, you must be born of him. You have to return to your earthly father. And, and through him, you would love God, naturally love God. It would be amazing. But you don't love... I, I have... I have done that. Good I am. What? I am totally. I'm. You have I have what? forgiven my dad and my mom and all that stuff. You have done what? I've forgiven my father and my mom, or made peace. My my dad died when I was twelve. So, but anyways, you went to your I've mother and told her I'm sorry for hating you for screwing up my life. Oh yes, yes, sir. You told I, your I mother that. A, yeah, a long time ago. You told your mother I'm sorry for hating you for screwing up my life. Yeah. You lying. No, I'm not. No, you're lying. <laughs> I can tell a lie. A liar. What? Dude, this was years ago. No, this you haven't so done that. Ago. You know why I know you it, haven't done that? Why? Because you're lying and you you believe <laughs> Jesus is God. You believe in this stupid idea of the Trinity. You're lost. I don't feel like you're answering my question. <laughs> I feel like you're skirting around it. No, go ahead. So how, I have answer your question. Is, what, what's your other question? Yes, yes, please. Okay, so how did you simplify it when this is something literally they, that is a debate? It was a debate way back then, and it's still a debate today. How did you come to such a simplified view of it by, of, of Christ? By realizing that I was playing God by judging myself and others, especially with my parents. Once I forgave them, God forgave me. He brought me into the kingdom of heaven and allowed me to see, and life is simple. No, I agree life should be simple. I'm talking about... No, it is Jesus. simple for those who have been born again of God. Okay, but I'm talking about the view of Jesus and, and him being God or not, or being part of the Godhead. I can see he now that he God. is... I can see that he is not God. He was, He is the son of God. And the traitors have brainwashed you and others to believe that he is God. And that's why they, that's why they control you. They got you believing a lie. Nobody's controlling me, man. No, you're being I'm controlled. My... Oh, no, you're being controlled. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am very nonconformist. No, dude. no, like, no, I, but I yeah, you're lying. Life. You're being controlled. <laughs> Okay, so how is it that God did all the miracles? I mean, Jesus did all the miracles and rose from the dead. And when he, when they crucified him, that was part of why they crucified him, because they said, you're making yourself equal with God. No, they crucified him because they out? hated the truth. Michelle, hold on a minute. What? Hold on. Let me take a break. I want to go quickly. Oh, and Merry Christmas, folks. Merry Christmas. I want to go back to Michelle, a first time call out of Utah. Michelle believed that Jesus is God and the Trinity and all that. And we were discussing that. She had a few questions about it. Michelle, are you still there? Yes. Thank you for holding. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions about it? Yeah. So um, this is like, it's a really complex issue. And so I'm just wondering how you can be so simple about it and how you came to the conclusion that like he's only a man and he's not God. Um, he, he was, you mean Jesus, right? Yes. Jesus was the son of God and he was sent here, uh, without sin so that he can buy us back from Satan, conquer Satan. And he did. So he had a special mission and his father was in him, guiding him in the way to do it, helping him deal with evil. But he was clearly, he was, he is clearly the Son of God. And what, if you're ever born again of God, you would see that and know that and not be deceived by the traitors of God, the so-called intellectuals, the preachers, and others like that. Are you a well, Christian, Michelle? Oh, yes. And do you sin? I'm, I'm not perfect. I am not like Jesus. Do you sin? I guess so. I try not to. Do you sin? Uh, Yeah. I do. I do things I don't want to do sometimes. Absolutely. So you you sin? Yeah. <laughs> and, I do. And not, not willfully. And so you do sin? 
Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I lose my temper when I don't want to. Sometimes I uh, use a curse word. It just flies out of my mouth. Um, so you do sin. You know. Yeah. And I'm do not you perfect. believe that you are of God? Yes. And you believe that God have a sinful nature? No. And so if, if you us. are of God, how is it that you still have a sinful nature? Because we're we're here. No, on this you, earth. you. How is it that Me. you, Michelle, from oh. Utah, have a mm -hmm. sinful nature, and you have you and you have overcome Satan's nature? Have you overcome Satan's nature? Yeah, I don't. I don't go along with the spirit of this world. You still sin, and how are you not going along with it? Because I have a human nature. I mean, is, is it that human of, nature the nature of Satan? No. Is it the nature of God? No, it's our own you, free will. It's you our have own, your own, it's our own. You have your own nature. I have a human nature, and, and part of being so, human is so having free will. So you have your own nature. No, I don't do anything on my own. I was so blessed by So do you have the nature born. of Satan? No, I do you don't. Have the nature I of God? Satan. You have the nature of God? Yes. And you I believe well, God's nature is sin? No. I, well, you how know what? are you can sinning? I, can I back up for a minute? How are you sinning? No. I don't want... How are you saying it? It's not about me. I know. I got to get that in. Then, because I'll let, I'm letting you ask me questions. How are you yeah. sinning then if you, uh, if you don't, if you have the nature of God? How are you sinning? Because we're not perfect until we ascend. But to, how are you sinning? I told you already. I gave you like You said examples. that you have your own nature? No, I said sometimes a curse word flies out of no, my no, mouth. No, 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 no. You said you're pepper. sinning because you have your own nature, right? I have a human nature. Is that Where's your nature? Is that your nature? There's, well, part of it is, yeah, because I make decisions. So your human nature is your nature, your own nature. No, I have a human. Uh, oh, you know what? This is what's interesting. We're mind body, and soul. Where That's you, what we are. Where did you That's get that nature? Michelle, where did you get your own nature from? If it's not of Satan and it's not of God, it's your own nature. How, how did you create that? No, that's where you're confused. We're three things. We are human nature, we have a, a soul, and we have a human body. So we're, that's the thing. We're complex, and you're oversimplified, and, over, oversimplifying Jesus, and you're oversimplifying so our So, Michelle, I want to come back existence. to how did you create your own nature? I didn't. You're, well, what do you get it from? Things. You said it's your own. It's my own because I'm the one that makes decisions. That's the whole reason we're on this planet, because we choose who we want to serve. And how do you Satan make decisions? Jesus. How do you make decisions? With my mind, with uh, my will. And uh, how do you do that? Oh, personally, I put a lot of things into consideration. I don't just get puffed up in my own self and think so I know you, everything. So you have your own will? Yes, I and do. How, where did you get that from? <laughs> it, from God. God gave you your own will? Yes. And he wants you to uh, sin in your own will? No, he doesn't want us to sin that. We're but down here. Why to would God that. give you your own will so you can sin if he loves you? Because you can't have true love without the ability to sin or the ability to But you to don't have it. That, where do you get that from? Oh, uh, that's just common knowledge. You can't have love if there's no possibility to hate. Do you because have that would, love? Then you'd be a robot. Do you have love? Yes. And where did you get your that's love why from? I'm calling you because I love you. Where do you and get I your love from? Where do you get your love from? Um, I get it from being a Christian because it makes how do me you, forgive how, people. How do you get it from being a Christian? How did how did Christianity give you love? Uh, because when you when you don't have Christ guiding you and you don't have the Bible teaching you, you have the spirit of this world guiding you, and that spirit is hateful. And do you have hate? No, you don't I, have I any hate. No, if I have any, you don't like ever I said, get angry. Like, Do you ever get angry? Yeah, sometimes I lose my temper. That's why I told you. And so you, you are I, love and hate. Yeah, we're mixed up. No, no, no. We're you, you are love and hate. No, 
I'd say I'm, I definitely, when the hate come, tries to come up, I, and I notice it, that's when I reject it. And then I, so I pray to God So you are of love me. and hate. Yeah, human beings aren't perfect, No, no, man. no, you, Michelle, like, Michelle, Michelle, you are of love and hate. I'm of love. That's what I choose. Are That's you of Michelle? Michelle, are you of love and hate? No, I'm you not. just said you have hate and you have love, so you have to be a both. Sometimes, excuse me. Sometimes you do. Not you. Talk about you. you. Sometimes you have hate and sometimes you have love. Yeah. Sometimes when somebody makes me angry, then uh, I'm like, ooh, I really don't like you, and it feels like hate. It but is hate. Not, not feel like hate. it is hate. You know why it's not truly hate? Because I wouldn't want nothing. I would want that person to rise above whatever they're doing. But you are me. of love and hate, right? Just to be clear. No, and can I, can, this is really important. Can I ask you this? Yeah, I'm going to let you ask, How but just Jesus, answer me that. You are of I, love I will, and hate, right? Is, is Jesus No, no, is no, not Michelle. Divine. No, come back. And then I'll let you ask That's me that. That's why I called. I didn't call about me. I called are about Jesus. Are you of love man. and hate? No. You're not. Uh, you're not of love and hate. No, because I choose love. How many times do I have to say it? But you say you also have hate. Yeah, because if somebody comes and punches you in the face, you don't think you're going to be hateful towards them. So how are you, you able to serve? Like, how are you, you able to serve two gods? I'm not. You are. If you serve in hate, not. you have hate, and you have love. You're serving two gods. No, you know what? I kind of think that you're a little bit narcissistic because you're oversimplifying things and you think that you know it all about Jesus. And I'm trying to ask you because I love you and I don't want you misleading other people. Okay. And I want so you I to want, understand. I, it's amazing that, that Michelle from Utah it, is serving two guys, one of love and one of hate. Amazing. No, no, so no, what's no. your question for Look me? It. Okay, so how did Jesus, if he wasn't divine, how did he... How was he born of a virgin? He was uh, by his father. His father sent him through a virgin. Yeah, so there you go right there. That is not human. That is way superhuman. That's divine. That's godly. That's God. Right. It was done by God, his father. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So how is Jesus not divine? Well, now you're talking about divine stuff. I don't know what you mean by that. But Jesus, if Jesus is God... Why did he just send himself? Why did he create a son and sent him? That's well, that's the point. He's um, Jesus is God Michelle. with us, God in human form. Michelle. That is what he is. Michelle. Yes. You are as dumb as a doorknob. Oh, you know that's not true. No, <laughs> Michelle. And you are held to pay, and I bet you there's not one man that can deal with you. No, I have a husband. Oh, I God. <laughs> I pity your husband. That's not nice, man. No, it's true. I pity your husband. I think that what you're doing your is you're trying you have to make it your husband you don't to, want to address this. You have turned your husband to a beta. I pity your husband, and I pity you because you need what? you need a father's love. You need a man to bring you out of your hell. Okay. And by you being a Bible thumper, and by you being a Bible thumper, it's even worse. Double trouble. Do you read the Bible? Sometimes. Okay. Well, when you read the Bible, it talks about when you're reading it. Do you have children? Do you have kids? Yeah. Oh, God. Yes, I do. Let me talk to your husband. He's at work. <laughs> oh. Well, tell him to call me. Yeah. Oh, he won't. He's kind of shy. See? Um, Beta! I, Beta! <laughs> I told you. I mean, he's shy is not a, necessarily Beta. a thing. Beta! But look at this is way too important for you to make it about me because I'm just. But human. it is I'm about, about you God. because you you are Satan calling me up trying to deceive the people. That's not that's not that's not true. That's why I'm calling no, you. No, like you're leading people astray. You are of your father the devil. How are you so sure that Jesus is just a man? That's what I want to know. Who said he was just a man? Well, if you're saying he's not God, then hey, then you're saying he's just a man. See how dumb you are. No, that's not dumb. That is dumb, Michelle. Okay, so what are you saying then? I'm saying if I got to go. I got to run. You're a Bible thumper. Call me again. Oh, really? You're not going to even try to answer it. Call me again, Michelle. I answered your question okay. already. Beta! <laughs> How can I be 
you a beta, I'm not a man. You a beta female. I oh. I pity okay, your husband. Well, no wonder he's shy and he probably stay at work as much as possible. No, that's rude. How is it rude for him to say oh, he's hiding from you? He can't deal with you. That is not true, man. No, your husband can't deal with you. A shy man cannot deal with an evil woman like you. I cannot believe you're calling me evil because you're I evil. want to talk about Jesus. Because I want to talk Satan about Jesus your, I'm evil. Yeah, Satan is your daddy, and you're trying hard to find peace, and but you're looking in all the wrong places. you got to look within yourself so you can overcome the intellect. Dude, how how is it that you think you can have all the answers within yourself? Are you like Buddhist? Because the kingdom of heaven is within you. Yeah, but it doesn't just spring out of you. Yes, like, it you does. To, once you're born you again of conscience. once you're born again of God, it springs out of you like living water. No, because if you don't die, Michelle, your thinking go through suffer. the Bible, then go suffer no, and die. That, go suffer and die. Satan. I want to show you another evil, evil, nasty woman. This is why men should not listen, to, especially preaching women, women in the Bible. They would drive you crazy. They are worse than the, the, the sinner woman that knows she's a sinner. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it.